Hey everybody, it's Beagle3280, welcome you guys to the next episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. Um, this is take two because take one was being choppy and shitty, so hopefully this time it looks a little bit better. But um, in the last episode, we met Sir Hassela, we got turned into a painting, a bunch of shit like that. In this episode, we're going to be taking on the House of Gills of the Tower of Hera dungeon. Um, as you guys can probably tell by the overlay, I, or by how this video is looking now, is I have added an overlay. Um, this came specialty because of uh, a video by a YouTuber called Lumario, who made one that you could edit for your streams and stuff. Um, I will be crediting them in the link, to, in the link in the description. I don't think they're really active much anymore. They don't really upload at least. But it was really cool that they had done that. And I thank you for that. So it's going like this. Like this. Oh, a chest appears. And some ropes. Boring. But thankfully I didn't get very far in my previous recording. I haven't even started the next dungeon yet. But here's my overlay I'm going to be doing for, for Zelda episodes past this point. I got my top screen here, right here in the center. Got my bottom screen there in the corner. And below my bottom screen is uh, a picture for my W stuff. Um, I will be changing what that picture is as videos go on. But for now, it's the W thing. Oh. Something I threw together for the overlay before I start uh, earlier this morning. If you guys are watching this, it's being recorded on Labor Day weekend. I've already had the announcement video for Smash Drafts uh, version 2 announced on uh, the Pound Pals channel. We haven't finished Pound Pals. Smash Draft version 1 just yet, but we will be getting around to doing version 1's finale. I was hoping to have gotten version 2 ready for Monday night, but we are behind schedule still for that. So we'll probably get version 1 done on Monday, and then try to speed run the remainder of... Or try to do all of version 2 really fast. Then there we have like a little bottle. Hopefully we can get to that so we can figure out what's going on. God ah, damn. Let's have this cave here. Uh, we can't do this yet. So, yeah, we can't get to the House of Gale just yet because we're requiring the gold to swim. This rock up here has no significance, but we'll be coming back to this like later in the game when a certain side quest is going to be done which I'll be saving for its own video because that side quest is so damn long those of you who have played this game to 100% completion know the side quest I'm talking about and those of you who don't know what side quest I'm talking about you guys will see when we get to it I don't want to spoil it but essentially this game does a similar sort of thing to Ocarina of Time for a scavenger hunt, but not of gold sculptures. So let's keep moving here. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry if I sound like unenergetic or unenthused, whatever. I am just tired. I had accidentally fell asleep here in my chair when I was getting ready to set up to do recording. And, um, I just recently woke up. And there's something that flew by there. Hey! Whoa, hold up a second, Greeny. Now yeah, I'm talking to you. Someone else wearing a green hat? Who am I? Have you heard of me? I'm Irene, best witch of my generation. Still junior witch, but whatever. Alright, get this. I had a, my fortune told this morning, right? 
and I was told that I'd be visited by disaster. Disaster! But if I, but if I want to change my future, I should take care of green. I was like, green? What, I should take care of the grass? I'm not mowing every lawn in Hyrule. Forget that. I'm a witch on the rise. Then you came along. And that all makes sense. I gotta take care of you, Greeny. So here, take this thing. You got the bell. The bell. You can now call Irene anytime. So this is one of my favorite features. Been seeing this, the weather veins all over the place? Just ring that bell and I'll fly you anyone you found. Normally I don't take passengers, but I'd rather haul you over high world than face disaster. Anyway, gotta fly. I have errands to run for my grand. Later. Oh, right. One more thing. My grand's a world-class potion brewer. Her shop is behind the Eastern Palace. I strongly suggest you look look her up. Her potions can't be beat. See? I'm looking out for you already, Greeny. Alright, so... Anyone who's played Majora's Mask knows exactly how amazing this system is. Where we get flown around. Hey, nice bell there. Bell ring in there. You're a natural. Hold tight so you don't fall. See, I'm already looking out for you. I'm looking out for you, big So yeah, um, just like in Majora's Mask, we now have a way of quick travel. Uh, for anyone who has not played Majora's Mask, to give you a basic premise of it is that in order for you to save the game, there are these owl statues that you have to slash with your sword to register that, you know, you found the owl statue. You can save your progress there, or play the Song of Time, and restart time, because you have a certain limited amount of time to beat the, uh, the boss. Um, but the owl statues will lead you, like, on the way to the first dungeon, you'll learn a song called the Song of Soaring, and when you play the song, you will warp around Hyrule, or Termina, because it's an alternate universe-esque thing. Red Ruby. Uh, let's go down. We'll come back and visit this later. I don't remember what's in there. I think it's like a little a little puzzle. They're not required for completion because there's no like completion tracker. But I will try my best to show everything off, even still. Uh, if we go this way, I believe it's this way up here, this is where Irene's grandma's shop is. That was close. <laughs> uh, so yeah, now with our, we also obtained a sword in the last episode, and we also got Rafia's bow. Here's Irene's grandma's potion shop. Weather vane. Let's go ahead and hit that. Weather vane has been added to your map. Save your progress. Save. Saving complete. Alright, so what's this guy kind of said? Zora Underland. The bridge is broken! Some guy just dashed up and jumped it. So, uh, jumped it though. Me? I could never do that. I suppose there's nothing I can do but swim to Zora's domain. What'd you say? You can't swim? Hey, just like me. We're like brothers. Swimless friend. You know what? We can- we can't- we both can't get to Zora's domain either. We could just walk across like that. What a special ability! That's as special as they come. So that is a Zora. Those things... are... Kind of ugly. <laughs> like, in this game. Like, Zora's looked pretty nice in Ocarina and Majora. But, here in Link to the Past, slash in between, oh, here in Link Between Worlds, to take the Link Between the Past, a Link to the Past design of them, they would, like, be in the water and shoot at you. They're doing this game, too. 20 rupees. They said this game loves to hand out rupees as if they're like candy, but the reason is is because there's a lot of like expensive stuff in this game. This way to Zora's Dome. Uh, 
Oh damn it, I'm gonna read that sign. Stick the crap with me now. Uh, this guy is gonna run off. Oh, smack and dust. Ouch! Watch where you where you're going. Wait a second, I've seen you. Aren't you that kid who was hanging out in the village? Well, whatever. Out of my way. The queen! The queen! Please help! Somebody! Help! What's going on? Oh! Gosh! Queen is... Queen is in trouble! Uh, Queen is in a sea of trouble. We've gotta do something. But what? That guy doesn't even know all the trouble he just caused. So, what's going on with that she is pissed. It's getting worse by the second. I can't believe that guy came in and stole a smooth gem right under our gill. Right from under our gill. That finless jerk probably thought it was some sparkly thing, but that queen needed to contain her power. Without that smooth gem, our queen will keep. Get that smooth gem back, or else. Okay, this looks like a job for Link. So I hope that the volume level is at least a little better this time around. I did do some adjusting because it was a little loud last time. I could uh, deep water nearby, baby shallows. A little louder last recording. I do apologize. It's my first setup with this. I never recorded. A lot of, I never recorded a lot of 3DS games before, so I didn't know if that was too loud or not. I should have done an audio test before I do. This is why we always do the, uh, testing before we play Smash Draft. I just didn't think about doing it because I was just too blinded by wanting to get shit done. Um, let's take Irene and fly over to Kakariko. While we're over there, I'm gonna grab something, but I won't be using it. Uh, uh usually she just has like some little funny dialogue, some little dialogue there when she when you use her bell. So I'm not probably gonna like use it all the time because it's not really anything you have to listen to. So here we have a bottle, a heart, and good news. I have some new stock. It may interest you. Please come take a look. Have you seen this rare stone? Smoother than silk. Go on, feel it. Just touch a shirt, a treasure will make your skin happy all over. That is, looks like orange soup again. Ah yes, a gemstone of remarkable quality, smooth as silk. And for you, only 200 rupees. Interested, my friend? Yes, please. You got the smooth gem. It's all, it's so irresistibly smooth. Thank you. Come back soon. Let's go ahead and buy this bottle. Uh, 100 rupees for a bottle? That's... I'm not sure the exchange rate on, like, shit with Hyrule, but it seems a little bit expensive to me. And then again, I said I don't know much about... What? You again? You banged into me at Zora Cave. Alright, so let's go ahead and go off screen because I did screw up. We're gonna go up here, come back down. I'm also gonna like do something here real quick with my uh, inventory. I'm gonna put my bottles down here at the bottom and align them in a row because there are multiple bottles we'll be getting later on. So okay, so at this uh, evil guy, you're gonna wanna merge into the wall, and sneak up behind his ass. Who's there? Y you! Where'd you come from? I emerged on the wall. S -s Sorry. Huh? I had no idea that was pr that stone was so pr the stone was precious. But that precious. I knew that gemstone would fetch a high price. I I'm sorry. 
I already sold it. That guy over there. Pretty already bought. <laughs> I already spent all the money I got from selling that darn stone. I couldn't help taking it. My boots weren't uh, helped me run fast, so fast. But I've been stealing everything that I've nailed down. That's nailed, that isn't nailed down. But here, you take these boots. I can tell you that you won't be. You, I can tell that you won't abuse their power. I hope they fit. You have the Pegasus boots. Press L for a short speed, uh, short time to dash. For a little, uh, press L for a little while. You'll be able to break into a mad dash. Those boots take some getting used to, but you'll figure it out. So yes, we can do this now. <coughs> it's a really nice thing to have. I do like the Pegasus boots. Uh, we will be using the Pegasus boots kind of often throughout our Let's Play because it helps us get through place, uh, point A to point B a lot faster. And if you're in the trees, you might get money. So, as I said, we're going to come to Kakariko Village and grab something while we're in here that we won't be using at all in this Let's Play, but I will be giving it some dedicated, like, bonus episode. Here we go into the fortune teller, which their symbol kind of looks like something, kind of suggesting. Four, three. Oh, you're here already. Is it fate we have a little chat? But it's it's it, it's fake that we have this little chat, but you're a whole two seconds early, Link. You can I can see the future in my crystal ball, and I've seen that there is a gift in your near future. Very near, as in now. Ba 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 ba. Get the hint glasses. Don't hesitate to use them when you're in trouble. These are the hint glasses. Don't be fooled by the slightly silly fooled by the slightly silly appearance, Link. Those glasses allow the wearer to behold amazing things, uh, to behold things amazing and strange. For, uh, for if you're in a place where you feel hopeless and stuck, look into the world through those glasses. You may just catch a glimpse of a hint ghost. Such ghosts give you tips and tricks for, from the great beyond. They can put you back on the right path. So when in doubt, look, for the, uh, look to the other side with those glasses. Would you like to see the power of the hint glasses in action? There's a cave near my shop. Put on the hint glasses there. Okay, so like I said, we'll be saving the hint glasses for their own like special thing in an episode, like the bonus episode, where I like show off everything which I, as far as item-wise goes. The reason being is that the hint glasses I can't really actually use as they do require a specific feature that's only available on the, uh, the Nintendo BS itself, 3DS itself, which is called the, uh, <laughs> the Play Coins, which are usually gotten from being exercised while you have the DS on you. Uh, so here we are, bar back at the graveyard. I'm trying not to die, please. I really don't want to have to show you guys what happens if you die. But it does get explained here in just a minute, because I went back and rewatched, uh, sort of rewatching when Game Grumps played through the game. There's Dante. Um, let's go ahead and just warp over to Orin, quit wasting, we quit wasting our time. We go to the witch's house. Irene's gonna pick us up. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Clang, clang. I was busy helping my gram. <laughs> So I will I guess I'll go into the potion shop here real quick. So here is Irene's grandma. She has four different potions. She has the red potion, which gives back health. What's the blue potion do? Restores heart all hearts. Uh, so basically she, she requires us to bring her she requires us to bring her ingredients. Alright, so the red potion only gives us back 8 hearts, blue gives us back all of them, yellow gives us temporary invincibility, and the purple powers up our sword swings. I probably won't be using any of these potions, Not nothing against Irene's grandma, but it's more or less to the fact that like, we don't really need the I don't really need the invincibility, I don't think I do. 
Um, and there are health regenerations that are a bit better because the problem with the potions is that they require you to have them as your inventory spot there. So while you could be using your bow or using your lantern, you can't because you have to uh, have it on the potion in order for it to be used to give you back your health. Let's go ahead and give him the smooth stuff. Wait, stranger, do you have the clean smooth again? Throw it in the pool, hurry! You wanna throw in the smooth gem into the pool? So if you don't throw it. That's not very funny, stranger. Oh, he just he just get pissed off after that. So. Let's go ahead and throw in that smooth gem so the turn is on the floor. Yay, we saved the queen! No. <clears throat> the, the queen! The bloating has stopped! It's kind of like when I... <sighs> Forget her name, the, the One Piece villain, like, the first villain of the One Piece series where she ate that smooth, smooth fruit. And she became like really thin and able to slide. <laughs> Neat. Are you the one who helped me? Thanks to you, I'm free from, free of my pool. That was rather d undignified. Let me introduce myself. My name is Orange, Queen of the Zords. I don't know how the how I came to rely on that troublesome smooth gin. But I did. I, I do need it. So thank you deeply. So I thank you deeply. I am filled with gratitude. Please take these, won't you? <laughs> we get the Zora Flipper. Time to jump in with both feet. Press A to dive and B to swim faster. Aye. They will allow you to swim and dive, and you may travel. So you may travel the rivers and roam the lakes. And my Zoras do consider them. A, Consider that their territory, so while I tell them to get along with people, I have to admit that they just don't listen, so be careful out there. Yeah, now we can actually swim. No more of that jumping in and losing health now. We will need these to access the uh, House of Gales. In my field recording, which like I said it was choppy and shitty. I did show off where the House of Gills is at, and I will go back and show that first cave. And it's a piece of heart. You got a piece of heart. Collect three or more, uh, three more to get a heart container. Oh, you can also check how, you, how many pieces of heart you have in your gear section here, because it's heart. We'll tell you how many pieces of heart you got. And here we have our Pegasus boots and our Zora flippers. It's pretty cool. We got all this already. We can dive. We can swim faster like that. There's a couple more spots I do want to hit while we're over here. Or while we're in the water, I should say. I think it's down this way. Yeah, under the bridge. Hey, yeah, be careful that these the Zoras will be in the water and they can still stop you. Oh, there's a sign here that was not here before. Bravio Shop. Grand opening. Essential gear for the hero types. Rent at rock bottom prices. Located just south of Hyrule's Castle. Come on by, I can't wait to see you. Oh. Okay, so Ravio has opened up a shop south of the castle. Let's go see where that's at. That location sounds kind of familiar. But first, I want to, like, go get something. I showed it in, the la in my previous recording, but never got it. 
Please, forget about that. We also have to go back to Kakariko Village for another item. It'll be helpful for us for the next quest. Which we'll be completing either very easily or not so easily. We'll see. This one I'll be saving for later, that thing over there, I should say. I'll be saving that for later on. Despite the fact that I can't access it right now. So let's hop in. Over here, this windmill is the House of Gale. So let's go ahead and try to access the House of Gale here, since we already are here on our map. And we can't, we don't have an item. But, we do have this weather vein. A new weather vein has been added to the map. Save your progress? Sure. But yeah, I do hope you guys do like this overlay because I... It took me a little bit to have to put that all back, put it all together. Let's fly to home because... Ever confused about where to go next, my gram isn't big on it, but I swear the swear by fortune telling. Has yours been done? It works. Really. So stop by the fortune teller near the forest. Let's so stop here. And uh, the house has changed. Now it has a Rabio sign. Let's go ahead and go in and see what's going on here. Welcome back! I still haven't found anywhere else to stay. But I spruce things up in here. I've made it in a nice little shot for myself. Pretty great, isn't it? Uh, you're not supposed to, you're supposed to stay here. Huh? So, I take it things didn't go as planned? But the item I lent you came in handy, right? You know, there's actually plenty of more where that came from. Ravi is all about helping heroes. And the way that things are going, I think that you're going to need my help. You know what? You know what they say, you wash my ears, I'll wash yours. So how about you rent how about you rent me your house and I'll rent you lots of items? Uh then it's a deal. I mean it's not like you ever I you know, like you ever come here, right? And this was my home. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty then. Here's how my shop works. I rent a wide range of items and weapons to you. In your rental period? That's the best part. You can rent, you have to keep rentals for a long time. Specifically until the next time you fall in battle. Which might never happen. Right? Sure, you look tough. But if you do fall in battle, my pal, Shiro here will swoop in and collect my property. Right, just like that. Swoop right in. Collect my stuff while you er, just lie there. You see anything you want? I've got plenty of gear beside the bow. If you find anything you like, just walk up to it and press A. Alright, so that's what Ravio was saying is true, is that if we do die while we have rented items, uh, Shiro will come and take our items while we lay their death. So when you have the ability to merge, come back to the house, go behind this ruby painting, and you get a ruby. <laughs> uh, let's rent the tornado rod because we do need this. Using tornado rod, or special going today. Rental price is 20 rupees. Blah, 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 blah. We're in the tornado rod. You can use it to blow things around, including monsters. Make sure you take good care of my tornado rod, alright? Let's also grab a couple other items the bombs, 50 rupees. Uh, the hammer. We'll probably get everything we can rent right now, get them all out of the way. Because we can actually, we can actually just come back and rent these anytime that we want to. And we'll have to re-rent them again if we die. But I want to get them, like, in my inventory. That way I don't have to keep coming back and coming back and coming back. Rent it for a hundred. I'm going to be moving over all these items for just a minute, so... Hopefully this let's play isn't too long like the first episode was. And then again, guys, I warned you guys it wouldn't be a long episode because it was the first one. The first episodes are usually always the longest ones. Where did the hook shot? 
take good care of my hook shot, alright? So we can't rent the sand rod, what this is called. How are you renting the sand rod? He rented it while I was in the village, seeing if there was any good place to set up my shop. He was in such a rush that he didn't, he didn't get his name. He said he had important business elsewhere. Anyways, I've only got one of each item, so you have to wait for that item to come into roost. Or something to that effect. But anyways, yeah, so if you guys remember that guy that we met at Eastern Palace, Osphila. He is Sir Hasla's uh, companion. We, uh, he had the sand rod. Blacksmith's wife. Yoo-hoo! Gully! It's time to come home! He must not be able to hear me. I hope he hasn't gotten himself lost in those woods down south. Oh, so Gully is missing. How unfortunate. Um, there is something that I think we can obtain. I'll be showing off the trainer rod here in just a second. Uh, I'm gonna go down here and grab this if I can get it. Let's go ahead and put the trainer around because do this stuns enemies for a short period of time. It's a really helpful tool if you need if you like get swarmed, you can just dizzy them and then you can run off or you can attack them. So here is Gully's mom. She says, Have you seen Gully? I think he's playing around here somewhere. But I have the strangest feeling like, oh, I don't know. Call it Mother's Intuit and Mother's Instinct. Keep an eye out for my little guy. Okay, Link? So let's go up here. As there is some more tall grass. This area might look familiar to those who played Link to, uh, Link to the Past, as there is something that is um, that has to do with the stump with the Oak Arena. Oh, Link! Have you seen Gully in here? Wait, wait, did you just find that pouch? Oh my stars, Gully had that! He made it for you so you could carry more items. Or I made it for you soon, camera items, but he insisted on being the one who gave it to you. I just found it here on this tree stump. He found it here, and then where's then where's my gully? Oh, how awful! I better tell my husband. I'm sure we can find him somehow. We have to. But please, you should use that pouch. You don't have to worry about you quite as much. I don't have to worry about you quite as much. You have a pouch, and I can have it. I'm set to X. So now we have two item slots. That is really, really awesome. Uh, oh. Accidentally opened up the folder there. Let's go ahead and go back to the House of Gales. Torch said take care of green, but that bell. <clears throat> something about the bell, I can't remember what it was. But there is something for to do with back there. We'll come back to it later when we're doing the big side quest. Uh, let's go ahead and equip um, the lanterns. I'm not sure. I think I might even sit in this dungeon, but I want to. It's better to say it has, It's better to be safe than sorry. Let's go ahead and step in this button and we go up to the House of Gales. Let's go ahead and do this dungeon, and then we end the episode after the dungeon and then complete it. Pots here. Let's do a little button. These two fans are gonna blow. We got three floors in this one. And all we have to find is a compass and a, um, a big key. Yeah, this, this is actually a really fun dungeon. Uh, but then again, a lot of the dungeons here in Link Between Worlds are fun dungeons. Uh, if I had to pick a favorite, it would be one that we do later on. I don't want to spoil the, dun the dungeon's name. We do this, do that, we get a chest here. 20 rupees inside. This room. Alright, so these gusts of wind will carry us if we try to uh, use them. Like this. Smack that switch, and those gusts stop. Fuel.
Point up its chest and its monster guns. That is underwhelming. We're going to walk across this wall here for the rupees. And we don't need these rupees, I'm going to do it anyway, just because it's going to bug me if I don't get those off the wall there. So let's recover some of our stamina. Across here. Down this way, spec the switch. I'm gonna lower this wall here so now we can get to the top floor. Walk across here. Enter this room. Uh so now we have these I believe these are called anti-fairies. If I'm not mistaken, that's what the enemy is called. Thankfully here on the wall, these guys can be a bit punishing when they're swirling around like that, with their fires lit. They can be a bit punishing there, so they do include some hearts on the wall if we need more. But these guys aren't actually that bad to take care of. I have this chest for a small key. Up across here. Can't go across the way. I have to go down to this locked door. So there's a chest in the middle of the room there. Not really in the middle of the room, but hang on the wall. Oh. Alright, so these guys, if they are electrified and you use, use your trinity rod, you'll be so busy at them. Got the compass, you can now see the locations of treasures and locked doors. A staple dungeon item for Zelda. Uh, excuse me? You're like right there. What kind of horse shit is that? Alright, so I'm probably gonna equip the lantern and go to the bow. Oop. We'll put the pin around on X. So the bow does not discriminate for enemies. You can just shoot them if they're electrified or not. Very, very helpful. <clears throat> so that turns on that turbine there. And if we ever come back to this room, we can just turn it around up to that gust and it'll take us back to this section here. There's a chest we missed, apparently. Oops. Four minutes on. I'm gonna go back and grab this chest if I can reach it. Uh, okay, I think we have to come back for it later. Go ahead and use this. Kill these squid guys. Oh. Thankfully, we're still on the platform when I unmerged. I hit this button here. That uh, uh, opens up another turbine. Brings us over to this. Fire refill. That's my back. Grab this heart. All right, let's go back in this room. We couldn't get to it earlier. Take this to us. Fucking mice. A room full of mice. Or rats. Whichever. Oh, no. Uh, do we have to leave this room and come back in? I think we might have to come back in this room. Damn it. Right, let's walk across this wall. This chest. The silver root. That's really cool. It's a hundred free rupees we didn't have before. We're gonna go right across. Right across. Right, round two. This should be a better. There we go. Fuck you, mice. Or rats. 
I'm just gonna jump cut to where I'm back on that platform there. Alright, and we're back. Walk across here, smash these pots, nothing. Not even a rupee. Fun holes. Smack this for a green rupee. That was worthless. Or pointless. Go back in here and just press the top. Come on. Rock. Rock. Refill. Uh, got that key stair. Ooh, free blue rupees. Uh, do not mind. So these guys are electrified, they will do damage to you if you try to hit them with a sword, it's like I said, try the bow. Oh, uh, that's a thing that we, that Link's Illumina taught us, that they were electrified. Chew, I believe it was. Goopy and you guys. Alright, so we got these spiky bars that are going to rock one across here like that. Alright, let's go. All right, bud. Sorry, Scott was making some noises. He does it all the time. And the switch here drops a small key. If we do need to progress to the dungeon. I want to get anything anywhere near across this way. No. <laughs> oh, there's a doorway. Stupid. Um, so we go through this way, I believe we can get up to this top area here to... Yeah, if you hold down the B button, you can do a, like a spin attack. I think I showed that first episode, if I didn't. There you go. Uh, go down, down here. This one is the first one, I believe. And drops a big ass chest. So it's. it's uh, Dizzy the Armo statues. Mm. <laughs> I love doing that. It's a big key. Now open the dungeon's huge door. I mean, it's not the boss door, it's the dungeon huge door. So if we got the wrong one, it would have, um... <clears throat> summoned fire. Around his armos knight. We would have to have... ...done something to get through there, whatever. Anyways, it's about this thing here. So these I know are wrong. That one up there I know is wrong. This one is the correct one, I believe. Get that point. Move back and forth. Merge on the wall here. Oh, okay. We have to go back to the top. Merge on the wall here. Cross. Refill. Always nice to have those. Uh, drops a small key right there in the fire. So if you do turn into rod in front of the fire, there is also an alternate method if you have gotten it already. If you ice rod on the fire, you'll put the fires out. Which is really neat. The fires do come back, unfortunately, so you do have to like be careful when you're in that area put the fire out and then run away. Oh, we got these guys. I want to say that they're Dugongo. I want to say that they're Dugongo, or like what this world here in Dugongo is. But I could be wrong. I don't know. I never really come to be a lover. I mean, a master. I really don't want to die. 
Oh, thank fuck. Okay, we're gonna go back to the beginning of the dungeon, heal up, and then we'll come back. <sighs> really scared there. I think at the beginning here, we just got these pots and health. Thank you, game. Work back to here. I believe this was a thing that's been a staple since Link's Awakening. I could be wrong. I could just be wanting to give more praise to Link's Awakening. It is one of my favorite Zelda games. So let's do this one. Go around this one. Hit this one. This one. And over here. Piece. I one the heart. Another one the heart. Alright. So this, uh, those turbines are shut off. The mobs are going to blow us around when we go back over. Here. here. Got some pots. Jump down. Frost here. Up these steps. Uh, maybe the bow. So we could just keep going, but I'm gonna do that instead. Shoot him with an eye. So those guys are actually invincible until their eye has been opened up like that. So if you shoot them with an arrow, they do take a lot of damage, a lot more damage than the sword can deal. At least currently. We'll get more into that later. This turbine go up here. Might not be a wind turbine. This giant fan. We'll call it like a giant fan. Uh, uh, nope. Okay. There's a scout. For those who don't know, scout's my. A big goofy beagle. He's a good boy. Like this. Gotta go by. There's a lantern here, which is kind of weird because lanterns usually aren't. You know, the lantern actually doesn't get much use past the first dungeon. There are a couple of times where they're like, you need the lantern, but other than that, it's very, very, very rare you need them. Okay, so you have a bunch of anti-fairies. This is going to be fun. You can them in a big cluster. They'll, like, jump down the pit themselves. What the hell? They're taking damage despite the fact that they're, like... I don't even have a choice where I land. Alright, last one is right here. Another pinball toy around to me. Okay, it's stuck perpetually there. And I'm almost dead. Uh, please, Link, do not die. I'm hoping that this pot has a, or there's only one that's in there. I thought there was a second one in there, I was going to say. Hopefully there's a second pot in there with a health refill on it, but there's not. Oh! The wall has one. Two of them. Fucking really? This one has 20 rupees. Maybe kill these rats. Yeah! Salty. We're gonna go around the long way. Grab these 15 rupees in this part along the way. Stick them on the floor there. And guts. Grab this chest. It might just be a silver rupee or something for our troubles. Purple, which is worth half of silver, but 
Hey, rupees are rupees. Door here, so here we are, almost the end of the dungeon. Let's go ahead and go in and fight the boss. This boss, I think, is a new boss to Mythic New Worlds. I can't imagine another game he's been in, but I don't play a lot of Zelda either, so I could just be. So, in order to defeat this boss, we have to get a rock up to him. Oh. Yeah. He also like starts getting around like that, you know, like smack on the platform in the bottom. This guy's worse than the next boss. He is boss because of that. Whenever his eyes revealed. Tornado right up. Smack the piss out of it. Now he's in a on a platform. Uh, just to try to like see if it would help us at all. I'm gonna switch from the uh, the arrows to the, uh, the flame rod. So the flame rod, like every item. Is required to beat the game because there will be some dungeon specific puzzles that will require There's that and a lot of that can get really helpful. Okay, and we're about to die. So I gotta like So annoying. <laughs> okay, so this guy's annoying. The next boss is a little bit more annoying though. No spoilers, but it's a boss that is kind of like a staple boss throughout most of Zelda's uh, games. Let's grab this. Oh, and there is a pendant waiting for us to be obtained as soon as we grab this heart container. If we do this heart container, do the cutscene that comes on after, we'll be in the episode. Have a heart container, you can by one where it fills our hearts. Just to be sure, let me check the, uh, the dungeon map, make sure it's been cleaned out, and there is no chest left behind. You have the opinion of wisdom. Keep your mind sharp. I don't have a shield. It doesn't matter though. Okay. Uh, Zora's here. What's he gotta say? That's weather today. So I swam here to wish the uh, with the queen. But she swims so fast I got left behind. And I got left behind me. I'm hurt, to be honest. The queen left behind. I feel abandoned. What the hell, Aura? Anyways, that is it for this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. In the next episode, we will be making way to the Tower of Hera. See you guys then.